since we are going to use a switch statement and we are also using string interpolation and concatenation in this app let's learn something about switch and string interpolation sorry i have just started a playground to learn about the switch statements in a swift so let's learn about switch statement in swift switch is a control flow statement for multi way branching instead of using multiple if statements for branching we normally prefer the switch statement and how does switching uh, how does it uh, works is like depending on the value of a variable it is uh, used to change the control flow of a program execution so you learn with the help of an example let me declare some variable let me call that variable as a step and let me give the value of 1 now depending on the value of the variable which can be 1 2 3 or 4 i want to perform the uh, branching statements control flow statements so one way is i can write multiple if statements i can write if step equal to 1 then perform this code or if step is 2 then perform this code so instead of writing multiple if statements what we can do is we can write a switch statement and to write a switch statement you have to start with the keyword switch and then a switch should be followed by the name of the variable that is used for the switching then you have to mark the braces also for the uh, statement switch starts from here and ends over here and within this braces you have to write multiple cases with the help of a keyword called as case so case 1 case 1 and then colon that means if the value of this variable step is 1 then whatever code is written in this case that should be executed to keep it simple i am just writing print step 1 step is 1 now so in this way you can write multiple cases you can also write let's say case 2 that means when the value of this variable step is 2 then the statements written over here uh, one or many statements though i am writing only one statement then but you can write many statements over here Uh, uh, as many as you want, and finally you can write multiple cases, and you can you should also write one uh, catch-all case, and that is uh, that is written normally with the help of a keyword called as default. So if you if the value of the variable, let's say in this example, since I have just written two cases, and I make the value of case as five, then none of the case gets satisfied. In this case, we write what is called as a catch-all uh, case that is default. So if uh, none of the condition gets satisfied over here then our program flow will go inside the default statement so in default if you have to write uh, you can just print something or if you don't want to write anything you can also write a break statement when we use normally let's say uh, i have uh, two print statements over here instead of printing uh, step 2 and now about to end step 2 and sometimes we want to finish a program before all the statements get over in a particular case so what we do is we have a statement called as break break statement uh, is normally uh, used to break out of any case since we are going to use strings and string interpolation and concatenation in our uh, example application Uh, let's learn something about uh, what is a string interpolation a string interpolation is a way to construct a new string value from a mix of constants variables literals expressions and so on by including their values inside a string literal let's learn this with an example let me declare a variable let me call it as variable a and uh, let me also give some value to this let's say 20 let me define constant a uh, which is equal to 100 and let's give the value 100 let me declare one more variable let me call it as variable c and this time let me declare it a variable of type float and uh, let's assign a value of 20.0 now what i can do for string interpolation i'll create a, another string variable let me call it as a string a 
uh, for interpolation what I'll use that I'll use a string literal inside a bracket I'll write value of variable a uh, times that means he'll display uh, variable a value of the variable a which is nothing but 20 so 20 times uh, 20 times 100 that is a value of constant a so that again I can print uh, using slash and within the brackets I can write constant a so this will 20 times uh, value of a is 100 so 20 times 100 is equal to that is nothing but uh, uh, 2000 so uh, that can be obtained by writing again uh, that is variable c into uh, into 100 so you can see that we got the answer 20 times 100 is equal to 2000 so this is called as string interpolation what we are basically doing is we are constructing a new string a string a over here from a mix of a variables and constants uh, and so on by including their values inside a string literal let's now learn about the string concatenation concatenating means combining two strings together to form a third string which will be obviously larger by adding first and second string so with an example uh, let me declare uh, two variables string one uh, which is nothing but uh, hello and uh, another variable let me call it a string 2 uh, which is uh, nothing but equal to world and I want to make one word uh, by combining these two strings so I'll declare a third variable variable 3 uh, string variable str3 that is equal to nothing but str1 plus plus is called as a concatenation operator when plus is used with numbers it's obviously an addition addition operator it's a mathematical operator arithmetic operator but when plus sign is used with the strings it is called as concatenating operator so I'll just combine str1 with str2 and uh, to display the result the hello world so value of str will now be hello world as you can see over here finally sometimes we have to find the length of a string as you know a string is nothing but a group of characters uh, to find the length of a string we have uh, something like uh, let's say key string 3 and I want to find uh, str3 dot uh, there, there, there is a property called as characters and characters property have another uh, property called as count so if I print this uh, if I will uh, print this it will display that's 13 of course that is considering the spaces also I have given one space after hello and one space after world also now that we have finished the concepts what will be required to develop an app let's start developing the app number guessing app